Here is another video from Maths at Hawthorne. This video is solving trig equations involving multiple angles. And the question is again taken from the WJEC, this time from the C2 examination of January 2008. We are asked to find the values of x in the range from 0 to 180 degrees, which satisfies the sine of 3x plus 15 is equal to 0.5. The first thing that we need to do is to adjust this interval so that we are not looking at x between 0 and 180 but that we are looking at 3x plus 15. We need to triple our range and add 15 degrees on. So 3x plus 15 will lie between 15 degrees and 555 degrees. The next step is to find the inverse sine of 0.5. This is sometimes called arc sine and is written sine to the power of minus 1, 0.5. We use our calculator for this and we find that the angle is 30 degrees. But then of course you should know this angle relating the sine of 30 to 0.5 as this is also part of the C2 syllabus. Notice that the angle that we have found, 30 degrees, is not actually the solution, but is, it is the principal value of 3x plus 15. That means that it is the angle in the first quadrant, or in other words, the angle between 0 and 90 degrees. Our next step is to use either a cast diagram or to use the graph of sine A or the sine of an angle. Whichever method is appropriate and is personal preference to the student. I'm going to use the cast diagram in this video and I need to be looking A, S, T, C, all, sine, tan, cos. These indicate the quadrants where each of the trig functions, all, the sine only, the tan only, and the cos only are positive in that quadrant. So we're looking at sine and we're looking at a positive. So first of all we're going to look at A, that's between 0 and 90 degrees, and S between 90 and 180 degrees. Our first solution then, 3x plus 15, is equal to 30 degrees. Of course we're going to need to solve this. We'll do that in the next slide. Secondly, S, sine is positive in the second quadrant. So our second angle, 180 take away the 30, is 150 degrees. But don't forget, that covers angles from 0 to 180. Because we have extended our range from 15 to 555, we need to go into the fifth quadrant and the sixth quadrant. 360 plus 30 that's given us 390 degrees. That's also a solution. And 360 plus 150, that's given us our fourth solution and our final solution of 510 degrees. Now, what we have to do is to solve these for x. 3x plus 15 is 30. Solve with simple algebraic manipulation to give x equals 5 degrees. 3x plus 15 is 150, gives x equals 45 degrees. 3x plus 15 equals 390, gives x equals 125 degrees. And 3x plus 15 equals 510, gives us x equals 165 degrees. We have four final solutions. 5 degrees, 45 degrees, 125 degrees, 